This will be fun, using someone's testimony to prove they didn't do the murder. <laughs> the one who came up with the kidnapping plan, Mr. Butler, Mr. Decon. We knew that we could get rich by holding Lance hostage. Mr. Amano would pay anything to get his son back after all. Everything was going according to plan, but as soon as we got the money... Mr. Decon turned on me and tried to kill me! He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't- he wouldn't He's kill his dad. daughter. Yeah. Very satisfied. She just confessed her crimes a second time. At least you have the guts to admit you- what you've done. I can at least respect that much. Also, like, is everyone- Like, by the logic that is stated before us, is everyone forgetting that the last name on it is D, not P? <laughs> I just wanna- Like, is everyone just kind of forgetting that? I know, it's like, uh Miss Pops, <laughs> is what you said really the truth? Yes, it is. If that's the truth, it certainly isn't the whole truth. Because there is something that seems a bit too improbable in her confession. I just don't know exactly what to point out right now, but I guess we just yeah, need to press. She's I sucks that someone so cute had to commit a crime, but you know, it be <laughs> like that sometimes. I know. How well did you know the victim? I've spoken with him only a few times at Lance's house. A few times, that's it? Um, yes. If they only met a few times, I don't see how they could have trusted each other. But if you hardly ever talk, then how could he trust you not to steal his plan? That's completely irrelevant. He was playing the betrayer from the very beginning. Which is why he chose someone he wasn't especially close to. Isn't that right, Sheena? Yeah, however, Miss Deacon made, it ve made a very poor choice. In the end, he was killed by the one he intended to betray himself. Ha! I bet you didn't see that one coming. Got his ass! <laughs> <laughs> the old bait switch! <laughs> Hold it. So why did you want to become rich? You knew. How did you know something like that? No, what, do I, what should I do? Okay, what's wrong with her now? Come on, isn't it obvious? You're making your scary face again, that's why. Why don't you try asking her in a nicer, more gentle way? No, stop it, Lauren. You're always like this. Am I? <laughs> is Edgeworth flustering her? Is that what this <laughs> is? It might be. You always fall for the stern-looking one! That's why you'll always be unhappy! Good fucking lord, woman! Or maybe that's it. She's been bewitched by your icy glare. Good god. Mind your own business, okay? Now, Miss Pops, let's continue with her testimony. Oh, yes, of course! Sweet. She did say when she read it, like, oh no, he's hot! <laughs> I gotta let a chunky sausage dog out. Alright. Okay, headphones back on. Why did you believe that? Anyone who knows Mr. Amano would think the same. I bet Lance is that old man's greatest treasure. I suppose he would. He would be to a. Ugh. I suppose he would be to a dotting father like Mr. Amano. I always figured that was it, too. And I was always envious of Lance for it. Having a father that cares about you? What the fuck? Having, having a father that didn't leave to go get milk ten years ago! On a plane! <laughs> <laughs> All the way in a different country! God, he loved his exotic goat milk! <laughs> oh. Oh, because your dad's... I got this pendant from my father. And I believe that as long as I have this, I'll find my father again someday. Oh, <gasps> honey. Honey, sweetie. Oh. How the hell is she keeping it together? I don't know. He'll welcome me into his arms, riding on the back of Pegasus. That pendant, she must truly believe it is it, it to be the wings, uh, the wings of Pegasus. As soon as we got that money. Would you mind telling us a little about the plan itself? Well, first we captured Lance. Ooh, 
Ooh, how'd you do that? Um, that... Well, Mr. Decon did that one on his own, so I don't quite know. Ah, and here I thought you knew how to steal people away. Huh. I shudder to think what she would do with such knowledge. Sorry, I really don't know, but somehow, Mr. Deco was able to con contain him. And all, we, and all we had to do after that was wait for the ransom to be paid by... Hold it. Why do you think he did? I have no idea, but maybe he planned on doing so from the very beginning. Are you trying to convince me that a man turned the gun on this woman... And somehow she was the one that ended up killing him. I want you to tell me that with a straight fucking face. <laughs> Look me in the eyes when you lie to me. <laughs> Miss Pops. Wait, Mr. Deacon planned to kill Miss Pops from the very beginning. Was that ever really likely to happen? What should I do? Should I raise an objection? Yeah, no. I'm sorry, but I don't think what you just claimed is all that likely. Huh? I don't think Mr. Deacon would have ever been able to of would ever uh, would have ever been capable of killing you. But why? We were total strangers. No, you weren't. It's not uncommon for people to kill each other over money. Miss Pops, you really are clueless, aren't you? What do you mean? You never knew what your role in the kidnapping was, nor do you know who you really are. But I do, and I can show with this piece of evidence. This proves that Mr. Deacon could have been able to bring himself to kill Miss Pops. Is it the... Haunts. Haunts. It has to be haunts. And carve their own names into a pen. Oh, why would that be? No, you have no imagination, Mr. Edgeworth. You ever think that maybe people want to have my loved ones always nearby? It's not as if I were a wedding band, but I have no interest in accessorizing. Uh, I suppose. Anyway, you know what? More than wearing flashy accessories. Yes, one day I'll have a nice wedding band. Edgeworth Wright. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather be engraving my name into every treasure I can find around the world. Sign of affection is one thing, but blatantly vandalizing is just a bit different. Yeah, this uh, is the evidence. Show the haunts! The horse! Why are you showing this to me? So what about the pendant? This horse pendant, along with this piece of evidence, shows who you really are! The wings! Take that! Take that! These two pendants resemble each other. Wouldn't you agree? Hey, you're right! They're the same color, and they're even made of the same material! I believe that these two pendants are actually one. Huh? Shall we give it a try? Oh yeah, they click together and make the Pegasus. Wow, it's- it's totally a pe- it's totally a Pegasus! But, but why? Why does my pendant match up with Mr. Decon's? You're a smart lady. I'm sure you can imagine why that might be. But, no! They can't be! So the two make a set. Heh. <laughs> Just another trinket. It's not as though this changes anything. Listen, if there's anything about cases where fathers are murdered by their children, I know <laughs> that shit like the back of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> you lack imagination, Agent Lang. Very well, I'll show you with this evidence. It's the police report. Yes. Take that! Take that! Oliver Deacon was just an alias for this man. His real name was Colin Deveray, the name that is etched onto the horse pendant. What? An Elias! A alias. Or alias. What? I can never say that right on the lie. <laughs> I suppose he had to hide the fact that he was a felon somehow in order to live. And it makes sense, given what is written in Miss Deveray's dossier. Mr. Deveray's dossier. But what I really want to point out was this. Specific sentence. Meaning of pendant. Wife and daughter. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Um, where is wife and soul daughter? Soul daughter. Miss Dever. Um, I keep saying Miss. Mr. Deveray had one daughter, and her name is Lauren Pops. That's a lie. That person was not my father. 
He couldn't come out and tell you he was your father because he was in hiding. However, I believe he was trying to secretly watch over you. And it has been ten years, so it makes sense that he looked different. Yeah. Do you still believe that a man like that could kill the daughter he was separated from? Or even that such a man would allow his daughter to get involved in a kidnapping plot? <laughs> and what's so funny, Agent Lang? You're good at making things up in your head and deciding it's the truth, aren't you? What are you trying to say? Your thinking is much too innocent. After all, I've thought of another possibility. Is that so? Well, let's hear it. Oh, you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grant you that the two of them are father and daughter. But isn't it possible that they both knew that fact? I'm going to once again reiterate, look me in the eyes, Lang, and tell me that that woman would be <laughs> willing to kill her father. <laughs> I want you to tell me that, no bullshit. <laughs> it was no coincidence that the reunited pair became involved in the house of Amano. And the two of them made good use of their meetings to plan this little kidnapping. Wouldn't you say my scenario was perfectly probable as well? So this is his version of how things might have been? You don't have any proof that either one didn't know of their true relationship, right? You mean they knowingly committed the kidnapping as father and daughter? <laughs> See, even Kay's like, wait a fucking minute, that was bullshit. <laughs> That's right. As one really rotten family. Listen, I might be- I might not be able to smell out of one nostril, but I know bullshit when I smell it. <laughs> Is that really what happened? I'd better take a long, hard look at the evidence. I don't know exactly what to rebuke here, but like, legit, just- <laughs> like, Looking at Lauren and how she acts- not a sick. I don't think you could a single person who isn't just trying to get a person convicted of a crime and go home could say that woman would murder her father. <laughs> Hold it. Precisely, and what father would ever willingly kill his own daughter? I've seen a lot of things in my travels, and I can tell you that being related by blood is some sometimes proof of nothing. Oh, shit. Did you drop your, pra your raisins? My raisins? Your raisins. My raisins. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me go back. Hold it! You think they knew? Yeah. I don't think... Only the victim knew. I think the girl realized it as well. They both knew who the other person was, but they had to pretend they didn't. I don't know, I think she maybe didn't really know. Because he was on the lam. You got it. The victim couldn't exactly go around flaunting who he was. Furthermore... One is a butler, and one is a friend of the sun, you mean. They probably thought that was their best shot. Is that what you honestly believe? Of course. Wait. Ah, fuck, thank you. That way. <laughs> you mean how they plotted to commit this crime with blood relatives? Can you think of a better partner? They're certainly a clever pair. The butler and the girlfriend. No one would ever suspect that they were, in fact, family. Yes, from the very beginning, they painstakingly practiced those roles well. I mean, the scenario he's making up makes sense. If it was anyone other than Lauren. <laughs> Like, I- that's legit the reason why I don't believe this for a second. This lady is too much of an emotional train wreck to pull the trigger. Bullshit. 
I believe you're being a bit too overconfident for someone with no evidence. Am I? Because I don't see you presenting any evidence to the contrary. <sighs> Without evidence to counter him, we're stuck in a draw. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Agent Lang isn't wrong. His scenario is clearly a probable one. Th I just want to say, this is a really good case. Like I've it. been really enjoying this one. <laughs> I know, but first things first. The agent Is Agent Lang's line of logic fa uh, factually correct? Did the two of them really know he commit the crime as father and daughter? Hmm. I legit don't know what to present here. I'm gonna be honest. Let's see. Let's see. When just okay. Go back. Let's see what else he says. Wick, wick. No, I did not mean to present. <laughs> I meant to check. You'd see that there is a very big flaw in your logic. Flaw? Oh, you sure as like your eyes are flawed, bitch! <laughs> you fucking dummy! Fuck me with you fucking see straight! Cause... I think what it is... I think it might be the letter. It might be. Because it love says... A love letter? Viola. Oh, that might be it. I don't think there's anything to present on this one. No. I'm gonna try presenting the letter on this one. No, okay. No, that's not it. Oh god! He went oh. with a not so fast! <laughs> oh, are we really doing this? <laughs> It'll waste my goddamn time. Longzi says Confidence is like a soul, and words without confidence are but empty shells. You shouldn't waste your breath on words you have no confidence in, Mr. Prosecutor. Although it's just as bad as to say something with full confidence and be wrong. You're so fucking precious when you can smile. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to let him lecture you about your self-confidence like that? I don't need to be overflowing with self-confidence. I just need to think rationally. But all I need to be confident in the facts. I'm missing what we're missing here. Do we have something to point out the... That's two? what I want to try and do. Is there something to point out the fact that like there's, the three of them? there's a third one? What all do we have for evidence? We have Badger, the victim's costume, the love letter, What's on the other page? On this? No, 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 the, the other page of evidence turns out our only one. Oh, uh, um... There's the pendant, the murder notes, hmm. stolen costumes, and the badger photo rally. What was, what was the first thing the fucking Lane goes on about? Dad and daughter. But is it possible that they both knew that fact? Hmm... <laughs> Is there anything we could prove to the contrary about this? Don't think it would be the body. No, I don't think that would be it. And so kidnapping. And then there's a pair in the house of mono. I might have to. I'm gonna quickly save state because I legit don't. I'm kind of. I don't know either. No. Well, while you figure this out, I'm gonna go get see if there's food and a drink. Okay. You find it yet? No, I. Hold oh, on. God, I got like what? one last thing. 
I'm gonna try doing this because he says two of them and there's a third kidnapper. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this kidnapping wasn't planned by just two people alone. What kind of proof do you have of that? Of course I get it right as you come back. I have been, I legit have been sitting here just taking shots in the dark. <laughs> Quite simply, there were three kidnappers. Three? Kung Fu. <laughs> Four costumes were stolen from the Wild Wild West area's back room. Well, the Wild Wild West. <laughs> we found one of them in the, kidnap in the kidnapper's hideout. But as for the other three, we can assume that they were being worn by three different people. We also found a set of three cups and three folding chairs that were used in the hideout. It all clearly points to a three-man group. Like my favorite band. <laughs> I don't know any three-man bands. This joke has fucking gone off the rail. The, the Blue Man Group! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Got him. <laughs> I thought, is, is the Blue Man three? Or I'm pretty sure, I thought, I'm pretty sure the Blue Man Group is three people. See, it's the Blue Man Group, and now we got the Blue Badger Man Group. <laughs> yeah, but it's three people. I was right. <laughs> and I believe this third person is the real mastermind behind the kidnapping. What? Who? Who is this mastermind? I present to you the brains behind the kidnapping. It's Lance. It's Lance. It's Lance. Lance. It's Lance. It's Lance. It's Lance. 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 Wait, he's not Lance. on here. Where is he? Yes, he is! There he is! <laughs> I saw you go over him like five times. Huh? 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 Lance Amano! Yes, this abduction was in fact schemed up by Lance himself. Recall what he said when he appeared before us? Did you see the faces of your- Oh, wait, there. Did you see the faces of your kidnappers? No, I didn't see their faces, but two, one was a woman. However, there were three kidnappers, which is in direct contradiction to what he said. But I only saw two people. This guy was being held hostage. It's possible he couldn't see all three of them. Also, like, you guys still haven't taken his handcuffs off. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, yes, about when you were being held. I have my doubts about what happened then. Lance, would you mind telling us what happened while you were being held captive? I really don't remember much anymore, honest. But if I don't tell you at least something, you won't believe me at all, will you? I'm fucking pretty boy. People thinking this guy is handsome? No. I was kidnapped yesterday morning. They had me shut in that room blindfolded the entire time. But the kidnapper suddenly disappeared around the time I heard rain falling outside. My hands were cuffed, but it was a stroke of luck that they left me alone. I made my escape and ran from that room as fast as I could! Through the underground passageway, I presume. Are you okay? <laughs> Are you okay? Sorry, I really didn't want to recall that horrible Daddy. ordeal, but... Uh -oh. oh my god, what? Uh-oh. I don't know what she's a... doing. Oh, a dog being a bad dog. But... Abby's not even in my room! Oh. B but now you believe me, right? No, not quite yet. <laughs> How could you not? Why do you look at me with icy daggers in your eyes? Because he's a prosecutor. And because they're all like that. Pansy. <laughs> I'll have you know, Agent Lang, a prosecutor's eyes are for dis discerning the truth. And apparently making young women horny. <laughs> and should they be interpreted to be cruel at times, then so be it. If only they worked on defense attorneys. If only they worked on defense attorneys. God damn it. <laughs> There's a sticking point in Lance's testimony. Let's see what he offers up when I push a little. Lance's testimony. Can you tell us about when you were abducted in a little more detail? It was a strange morning. <coughs> oh, sorry. You're okay. fine. I felt like I was right in the middle of a great calm. And where were you when you experienced this calm? A family garden, of course. Where else would it have been? Well, excuse me for asking. This child <laughs> is more princess than prince. Pansy. 
I was out mm. taking a walk to shake off the morning bleh. And then out of the blue, someone from behind clamps a hand over my mouth. You didn't see your attacker? They must have used some drug to knock me out. Because before I knew it, I was off in La La Land again. When I woke up, I was in the kidnapper's hideout already, all tied up. They had me shut in that room, blindfolded the entire time. Hold it. By that room, you mean the room in the kidnapper's hideout, correct? Yes, but I was blindfolded the whole time, so I didn't know that until I made my escape. Then you were in the same room as your kidnappers. They spoke in hushed tones, but I couldn't catch, I could catch bits of their conversation. It was definitely two people, and one was definitely a woman. I was so scared, I could tell they were nearby, so I didn't make, I didn't dare make a move. But the kidnapper suddenly disappeared around the time I heard rain falling outside. The kidnappers disappeared. The room fell into a sudden silence. I had been left behind like an unwanted mutt. <laughs> and what do you mean by unwanted mutt? Another pointless question. It's not like it's going to tell you anything new, you know. It's a poetic simile. You might should learn how to use them too. You may look refined on the outside. But it's no good if you're not refined on the inside as well. <laughs> I fucking hate this guy. Then, those cuffs on your wrists. I suppose there's, you are still cuffed in that case. I am well aware of how I am chained to reality. I couldn't find the key, so I'm afraid... He could I take those off his through. hands so easily. And also, how did he get out? <laughs> Even though I escaped from that jail cell, I will forever be a prisoner. <laughs> I made my escape and ran away from that room as fast as I could. How did you manage to escape? I wanted to just get out of there, but the door leading outside was locked, which is why I had to use the underground passageway to make my escape. I remember our escape had to be, e to be equally as hard, but this is a valuable piece of testimony. You must let it go on exam. Okay, I'm guessing that's the one I need. The door leading outside was locked tight, so I had to use the underground passageway. By underground passageway, you mean the one the staff uses to travel unnoticed? I suppose that's what it's for, but I didn't run into any staff members on my way out. And once I was up top, I was busy trying to find a member of the police. And that is when you found us congregated at the stadium, I suppose. Let me ask you then, how did you get a hold of the key to the underground door? That was easy. It was hanging right there in the room on the wall. I do recall, I do recall a key hanging on the wall right beside the table. Boy, does it bring back memories of our situation how we made our escape. Our grand escape. <laughs> Indeed, and although the door to the floor of the room led to an underground room, the door to the floor of the room next door had a secret passageway. A secret passageway under the theme park. Ooh, that just sounds like so much fun. I wonder, is there something off about the way Lance made his escape? Edward pointed out the one before last. What is proof that he wasn't left alone? Badger costume, maybe? The discarded one? That's all I can think of. You have no idea how to put two ideas together and make a logical argument, do you? I need to they want to make a safe state. Yeah! 
We're lo we're right a bit low on the on the thinking juice. Oh, just the underground passageway. Maybe I skip away now. I'm not running as fast as I could. Oh, okay, God. let's see. Let's look at our evidence real quick. So, which one did we just present? I presented the stolen costumes. Okay. What is the one above with the badger head? It's just the fact that there was a badger head. Okay, just the badger head. That's right. That okay. was left in the room. The sword? No. No. Now, Mr. Prosecutor, I'm not your pal, buddy! <laughs> Let's look at this one again. How did you manage to escape? I wanted to get out of there, but the door leading outside was locked. No, it wasn't. We know this. Oh shit, that's it! We're fucking dummies! No, I know that! That's why I put the sword, because I was like, that's the proof that it wasn't locked! Listen, you- I forgot about that. <laughs> Maybe- oh, is it the second part that I need to- 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 No, fuck, I- da -da. It's the last part. Maybe that's the one I'm fucking up on. There it is! Okay. Yeah. My logic was right, I just wasn't pressing the right thing. <laughs> that seems to keep happening a lot. You say that the door leading out was locked, but wasn't really. The oh, fucking- <laughs> They fell off of him! We're talking about that room behind the saloon front, right? Look, I heard it took quite a few men to get that thing open, right, Sheena? Yes, that's correct. Oh, we're going in! Yeah! Then take a look at this! What is that? A sword? It's not especially reliable, what if it's broken like that? Allow me to start from the end. My conclusion is that the door was never locked. It was simply held shut by the sword, which was used to jam the handle, because it didn't have the keys. Lance, even though your hands were cuffed together, you could still use them. If that's the case, then why did you not just simply remove the sword and escape? Why didn't I? I was disoriented. Y yes, that is. I didn't even notice. As if I should accept such a bold-faced lie. You locked yourself in that room because you had to make yourself look like the victim. But you did not, in fact, possess the key to the door. That is why you used the prop sword to improvise and create a prison of your very own. You've been making this guy out to be one of the kidnappers for some time now. I wonder if you've forgotten something very important along the way. If he was so disoriented, how could he put two and two together to use a fucking key to unlock the fucking ground thing? <laughs> and what would that be? A motive. What else? Oh, fucking, I got a motive. Do you honestly think an upright, pure boy like him would hatch up a completely pointless scheme such as kidnapping himself? Objection! <laughs> This proves that Lance did indeed have a motive to commit this crime. The letter! Take that! To put it simply, Lance has had a very urgent need for money. This is hardly your typical love letter. It is in fact a collection bill. It appears our upstanding boy has accumulated quite a debt. Isn't that right, Lance? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's hard being the son of a rich man, too. It must be rough when you have to resort to stealing from your own old man, huh? All right, I give up. I abducted myself. Lance! Fuck off. It's over, Lolly. In this life, we are really bound. We really are bound to our fates, after all. All I wanted to want us to go up with you to a new town, somewhere where no one would know us. I wanted us to be well off with that one million, but I know that dream is over. Fuck it. No, you wanted to pay off the debt. Shut up. <laughs> oh, Lance! Then you are giving yourself up. Yes, I had planned to run away from this world with my lolly. Oliver even helped us with the plan, but then he had to go and stab us in the back. He turned on you. Maybe he didn't want to split the ransom money. That's my guess. It happened almost right after you made the drop-off. 
When we were alone, he attacked me all of a sudden. After a brief struggle, I was able to contain him and keep him under control. We left him inside that room as Lolly and I made our escape. We wore different costumes and split up. Lolly left first in the Blue Badger costume. That would mean the person Officer Megan saw was Miss Pops. But right then, the old man just had to wake up. I was careless, and he tackled me pretty hard from behind. Then, Oliver put on a bad badger costume, took the suitcase with a million dollars, and ran. I contacted Lolly right away and warned her that he had a gun. They had no idea that they were related, so I thought it could only end badly. I still don't believe it. That person was not my father. Because... Because if he was, I... I just killed my own father. Lolly, then then it really was you. Why is he peeking from his fingers like that? That little shit. Oh, my fucking god. Hey. That man was not my father. I mean, because at the stadium... Yo, I wanna... This is a advice for all of you out there watching this. <laughs> Don't admit to murder for a guy ever. For whatever reason. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> it ain't worth it. And the chance that you just, you know, you plan to murder someone with a guy, <laughs> don't admit to it for him. Just, if, you're, if your man murders someone, maybe they ain't the one. <laughs> <laughs> There's a bad badger pulling the suitcase with the one plane in it. But that badger pointed his gun at me, aiming to shoot me dead. That's why I... I used the gun I got from Lance. There's a gunshot, and the other person crumpled to the ground, and I ran, scared for my life. But that doesn't explain how the body got moved. I think the big picture is finally coming into focus, don't you? Lolly, forgive me. I didn't think it would turn into something so frightening. Fuck this guy. God, I I actually like he is the scum of the earth. He the the scumbag vibes are really radiating off of him. Yeah. So the Miss Pops, she shot her own dad without even knowing who he really was. If what she says is true. Unless that was really the gun that had the blanks in it. That's what I'm thinking. Cause but she didn't shoot him. Yeah. And someone else came to finish the job! But why would she lie about something like that? What purpose would it serve? You would be surprised how often people lie without even realizing it themselves, Kay. Huh? What's that supposed to mean? What I mean is, listen very carefully to her confession once more and you'll see. Alright, I'm gonna do this real quick. <laughs> Listen, it's just taking out the long process of saving, alright? There's no <laughs> difference in me doing this. Please calm down, and let's slowly talk through this. But, I... All you have to do is simply tell us what happened at the stadium. Leave it to us to search out the truth. Can you do that for me? Alright, so, at the stadium... Bad Badger pulling the suitcase with the one million. You know, we never did find that suitcase. That is the- that is kind of the question. Where is the money? That was the ransom money, wasn't it? Yes. That's how I was able to identify Mr. Deacon almost immediately. It was all thanks to what Lance told me. And what did he tell you? Well, he called me on my cell phone and told me. That Mr. Deacon had betrayed us and had run off with the ransom money. And about how he had a gun. I already know what it is. Objection! What? <laughs> no! The what about it? Mr. Edgeway, sir, I, I don't think you pulled out the right piece of evidence. But how? <laughs> how is that One not right? <laughs> I think it has to be something else we pointed out for. I'll try, sir. I think maybe, like, the thing about shooting? Alright. 
Cause I think the I think the other bit where she says uh, she shot him. Were you able to clearly see the gun? Yes, I got a very good look at it while it was pointed at me. Oh, father! Why would you try to shoot me? Do you really think a father would shoot his own daughter, Mister Edgeworth? I don't know. I don't want to believe it myself. But it's true. My father's left arm is raised with the gun in it. He's right-handed. Oh, that's it! And the gun's in the right hand, too, on the Bad Badger costume. Oh. Please calm down and take a deep breath. And then, would you allow me to please hear that last statement one more time? Y yes, of course! The motherfucker! Why the gun is his left hand at me, aiming to shoot me dead. He's right-handed. He's right-handed! I remember. Oh, okay, so I had to press first. Okay. Yeah. I have a, I have here a dossier on your phone. This is like the third or fourth case in Ace Attorney where the, the thing is, they raised their left hand. And it's like, bitch, they're right-handed. That literally <laughs> was in the final case. It, with the proof was Edgeworth wasn't left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> and according to this, your father was right-handed. One of these days is going to be a fucking left-handed killer. It'll be coming out of left field. One of my favorite is it's one of the it's the second case of Ace Attorney uh, Justice for All. They uh, the lady says she gets out of the left side of the door, but because the uh, of the car door, but because the car is European, the 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 contradiction is that she would have had to get out of the right side of the door. <laughs> oh my god! The person pointing a gun at you from atop the stage was not Mr. Deacon. Hold, hold on there, Mr. Prosecutor. I think you need to take a refresher course. The Bad Badger has a model gun attached to his right hand. Which is why the only hand he could have held the real gun in was his left. Isn't it possible that it went down like that? I feel like she would have mentioned two guns. <laughs> Agent Lang, were you, are you, were you paying attention to what Miss Pops was saying? Then again, I suppose I can't expect someone who has never set foot in a court to catch it. Enough with the smugness. Out with it already. Miss Pops told us earlier. There's a bad batch pulling the suitcase with the one million in it. <gasps> Both his hands were occupied. Ugh. According to you, the Bad Badger had the gun in his left hand, which would mean that he was pulling the suitcase with his right hand. Is that correct, Miss Pops? Yes, exactly. And I'm sure it was the Bad Badger that had those huge sunglasses on its face. Or maybe the costume was mismatched. Was he wearing pants? There were two Bad Badgers. One of fucking the Lance put on the, the first costume, the proto, and it swapped over to the Bad Badger one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, Miss Pops claims to have seen the Bad Badger, and yet the Bad Badger had both his hands full. These two pieces of information contradict each other, so one must be wrong. Maybe save! Maybe yeah, save! Yeah, I'm gonna quickly, I'm gonna do it just so I don't have to... Uh. <sighs> Both are correct. Okay, so... The, what was the thing? It was, um... Which... He had the suitcase in his right... Hand, okay, so it's right either the left. answer was it wasn't the Bad Badger, or both hands were not occupied. But she said it was the Bad Badger because it had the sunglasses. But I think it might not be because I think he might have had the wrong body on. That might have been it. But both hands were not occupied is the other one, and it's like... That doesn't... No. Maybe, maybe it's both are correct? I'm gonna... I mean, we did just save, so if we get it wrong, we'll go with both are correct. Yeah. Miss Pops, what you saw was not the Bad Badger. Think back and recall which character was it that leveled the gun at you. But I was wearing a pair of sunglasses and had that strange blue beard. That sums up the Bad Badger pretty well, I'd say. No. Too bad for you, but looks like the Bad Badger was the mistake here. Safe scope. Safe no! scope. Safe <laughs> state. Safe state. Alright, I'm gonna go with both are correct. They are both correct. Impossible. 
That just leaves us with an irresolvable contradiction. Miss Pop's entire statement rests on the fact that she saw sunglasses and beard. But what about his pants? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but what if that bad badger wasn't wearing pants? <laughs> he was <laughs> naked. Really use both his goes away. The costume that was ripped. We don't have the evidence that the costume was ripped. I think we. The victim's costume. I think no what it needs to be. Let's reuse both of his hands. I'm gonna present this and show that he wasn't wearing pants, and also save state again. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Tiddly squat! <laughs> okay, let's go with the victim costume then. No! no! Son of a bitch! <laughs> uh. The gun? No! <laughs> the blue badger's head! Alright! <laughs> The costumes have two parts to them, a head and the body. Oh, I get it now. The head Miss Pop saw was probably really the head of the bad badger. However, it's not possible that the body was that of an entire... What? Well, is it not possible that the body was that of an entirely different badger? A different badger? Yes, or to put it more bluntly, I believe it was the lower half of this badger! Proto Badger. Proto Badger? You think it's Proto Badger? Yes. Because there's two blue badgers accounted for. We are. We already have the pink one, so it has to be the Proto. The heck is it? It's the Proto Badger. Yes, it's a simple matter of a process of elimination. Miss Pops was wearing the blue badger's costume, so we can eliminate that one. And the pink badger is out of is of the wrong color, which obvious which would have been incredibly obvious. All that is left is the proto badger costume. Miss Pops, who was the one who wore the proto badger costume? That, that, that would be Lance. Are you saying what I think you are? That Lance Amano donned the badger's the bad badger's head and pretended to be Mr. Decon. On top of which, he plotted to shoot Miss Pops while wearing that hideous thing. The stage was set up in the stadium. Uh, set up in the stadium. Oh no! Was the guy trying to save his up. daughter? And its purpose was to lead Miss Pops into believing she had committed murder. Standing there in front of Miss Pops and pretending to—that explains why she thought. She shot him because he, she was given the gun that could only fire blanks. Ooh. It was all done so that she would pull the trigger. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Why exactly would I have to do with all that, huh? There is but one reason, Lancer Mano. You are the real culprit behind the murder of Mr. Olivier Deacon. What? No! Th that's slander! Take it back! You take it back right now! Just out of curiosity, Lance. Which is your dominant hand? I'm left-handed. But what does that have to do with anything? It depends. According to Miss Pops, her attacker held a gun in his left hand. Ha! Who is... Who is one-handed doesn't prove a thing. And besides... Now you're just being absurd. It's not like the Proto Badger is bulletproof. One misfire and he would have found himself dead, right? What are you even trying to argue here? <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, we're about to present the blank. The, the gun that fires yeah, yeah. Of course, logically, if he had been shot, he probably wouldn't be here with us. But I believe he had thought of that as well and prepared accordingly. And this should be all the evidence you need. Maybe save saying it just in case. Uh, just in case. Just in, just in case. But I'm we know, we know it, but just in case. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> How about some of this shit? 
We found one half of a bad badger costume in the hideout, a broken one. It was not the same one the victim was wearing. Plus, it was missing something. And that something is the model gun that the bad badger carries, which can fire blanks. B what? Miss Pops, where is the gun you use now? I... I threw it away into the sea. Lost! Forever! <laughs> that makes it a bit tough to verify what it was. Although I believe that we can safely assume that it was the model gun in question. I've heard enough. I've even spawned so far as pure conjecture. I admit that as long as the model gun is lost to us, I can't prove I'm right. However, I can say that the probability that I am right is very high. <laughs> okay, let's pretend that you're right, and that the murder at the stadium was a fabrication. In that case, where do you think the murder really took place, Mr. Prosecutor? I don't know yet. We're not done with this case, are we? <laughs> oh, ah, I knew you were full of it. However, I do believe that the murder took place during an earlier time frame. Please wait a second. It's simply not possible. Because... because... Girl, please stop! Girl, please! <laughs> this man is not worth it! I saw Mr. Deacon after he was restrained by Lance. She saw the victim in the state of being restrained? Hold on a goddamn minute. <laughs> What Miss Pop saw. I came back to the hideout long after the other two. By that time, Lance had already subdued and restrained Mr. Deacon. He had tied Mr. Deacon securely to the beam in the room. That wasn't him. <gasps> that was that us. Wasn't... That was that was us. <laughs> after that, the two of us put our costumes on and made our escape. That's where the bad badger head was in there. So Mr. Decom must have escaped after the two of you left, right? Hold on. We thought that it attracted too much attention we left together, so I left first. We planned to meet up again at the stage of the stadium. But then, as I was walking to the park, I got a call from Lance on my cell phone. Oliver managed to escape. It looks like he was waiting until I was alone. He also stole the gun from me at that time. Oh my god, he bashed us over the head and made, and made her think we were him. Oh my god. Oh, you the... slimy son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, Mr. Deacon must have overhead heard their plan to meet up at the stage. I think... We got another crime scene to investigate. I think I know where the murder might have happened. Where would it have happened? The Haunted Mansion, because why was Lance there? Oh shit, that's right. And there was a broken mirror from the Haunted Mansion. Oh, that's right. Oh, it might have been from the fucking gunshot! Wait, kiss it up, because we were walking there, all the mirrors were fine except the one. Except for one was broken. Oh, oh my, my god! <gasps> <laughs> oh, <gasps> it grows deeper! <laughs> I know we've been at this for a while, but now I'm like, I gotta bring the scum back <laughs> to justice. You wanna, you wanna try and see if we can finish the chapter today? Yeah, I think, okay. I think it might be like we could probably get it done today. Okay, uh, I will. I, I Listen, I don't, I don't got work till like eleven tomorrow. I could stay up a bit. <laughs> we, we've gotten to the good part. All right. Let me, let me just go get another piece of bread real fast, yeah. and I will PRV. I, I'm probably gonna need to go get me something to drink after we finish this long stretch of examinations. Good fucking god. The plot, it's so- it's like thicker than gravy. Mm -hmm.